you can see a big list here, a big messy list of all these reminders. This doesn't look like a CRM. This doesn't look manageable and going to help me manage my interactions with my clients. Google Workplace, Dropbox, HubSpot, Calendly, QuickBooks, PayPal, WhatsApp, and Notion. Digital resources required to run a business in the 21st century is a lot. And sometimes it can feel like it slows you down more than it actually helps you. As for CRMs, as a small business owner, there's so many options and they're just jam packed with lots of features, many of which as a one-to-one -one service provider, I'm never gonna have the need or use for. I set out to see if I could build a CRM system only using the native Apple apps. So I drew inspiration from Cal Newport's digital minimalism to rebuild my relationship with the technology. I focus on the core principles of digital minimalism. Clutter is costly, optimization is important, and intentionality is satisfying. I sat down in front of a Notion page, just jotting down what I was using my CRM for, where were my main contact points, and what did I need it to do for me? What I found was 95% of my interaction with my CRM had purely been with its tasks function, assigning tasks to certain projects, clients, and organizing those tasks so I could easily access them. I did some research for productivity using Macs, and I found that the reminder tool was a really powerful tool for people to organize similar tasks to what I was already organizing with my old CRM. And I'm really excited to show you how I've adapted reminders to replace what my CRM was doing for me. It's a really good tool because it syncs with everything, your calendars, notifications, you can easily access it on the fly with Siri and just do something like this. Hey Siri, remind me to ask people to smash the like button and subscribe so I can make more of these videos every Wednesday. Okay. When I first migrated to the Reminders app, everything was organized into lists. And these lists represented my sales pipeline that I used to have on my CRM. They remained static and it worked well. It's simple tasks jotted down and organized into lists, but it needed to be developed further. It needed, it needed something more because it just felt a little bit clunky, didn't feel dynamic. Then come along tags with iOS 15 and OS 12. This was the game changer. So basically tags in iOS 15 and OS 12 act like hashtags and you can add as many hashtags to any particular task you want. But the crazy thing is the way the OS allows you to quickly search and organize things by tag. I set out to tag all my reminders. I've got four tiers of tags in my system and then I'll actually show you how they interact with one another. The first one being the type of reminder and these the type actually correlates with the calendar I use. So either it will be a CEO tag, a CFO tag or a doer tag. This is a system I adapt adapted for organizing my calendar by Ryan Serhan. The second tier of tags, actually what type of contact they are. Are they a lead? Are they a customer? Are they a supplier? Are they a colleague? Are they a subcontractor? The third tier of tags is the action. What is this reminder telling me to do? Am I invoicing something? Do I need to schedule something? Do I need to quote something, listen to something or follow up someone? And the fourth and final tier of tags is the location in which I have to execute on this reminder. Is it in my email inbox, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, via the phone, or text message. So the real benefit game changer about the Reminders app in iOS 15 and OS 12 are the tags. And not just the tags themselves, but the way they interact with one another. Now, you can see a big list here, a big messy list of all these reminders. This doesn't look like a CRM. This doesn't look manageable and gonna help me manage my interactions with my clients just on its own. No, but the tags do. So. I'll give you some examples. Let's say I need to see who I have to follow up on the Instagram app. I can just click Instagram, follow up. There we go. Or if I wanna know via email whose tracks I need to listen to, I can click email, listening. Perfect. If I just wanna see an overview of all my leads and all the tasks I have to do with my leads, I can just click on the one tag itself. But it might be too much for me and I might just wanna to go to my email to just catch up on some work. Click email. There are all the lead tasks for email I have to do today. So these are the powerful thing. When I need to just create a new reminder or manage a contact or a relationship with a contact, I can just create a new thing. Go in, uh, let's say, follow up John Smith. 
hashtag. I'm going to be following up via email. He is a current customer. This is a CFO task. Uh, no, this is a CEO task. And email, customer, and what am I going to be doing? Follow up. F you is follow up. Perfect. Done. And that will tag. I don't know why that one didn't tag. CEO. Beautiful. There we go. With all of these combinations, I can actually create smart lists from them. So if I go lead email, I can actually create a smart list here, which populates whenever I add tasks that both contain lead and email into this list. The one feature I wish it did have though, was the ability to share smart lists, because then this would just make it a whole new powerful tool where I could send, let's say, share the list of all my invoices I need to create with an assistant. And then they automatically get a reminder when I need new invoices populated simply by syncing these calendar, uh, these reminder lists together. That's one feature iOS 15 and OS 12 hasn't got quite yet. And I hope it does come in the future. By no means, this is a full scale CRM solution like other ones on the market with all the bells and whistles, but it's simple, it's friction free, and it does require a little bit of hands-on work just to enter data. But other than that, it's really quick and easy to use on the fly. I can tell Siri to add something to there and it just does its thing. I'm pretty happy with this system. Again, it's not for everybody. It's for somebody like me who just doesn't want all the other bells and whistles and just needs to manage more tasks than anything with their customers. And it does my bidding. Quick, easy, free of distraction. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more like this, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'm going to show you more other things that happen behind the scenes in my business while I'm growing it. All right, take care.